So I am uh, <laughs> not going to read you the syllabus. I'm not going to walk you through anything. I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to do anything around the syllabus. I'm going to expect that you will read it. And if you don't read it, that's crazy talk, especially in an online class. So there you go. Read the syllabus. <laughs> that's good. However, the schedule, I'm going to walk you through that. Because you might look at that thing and be like, what? <laughs> And I'll just tell you right now that my brain is color-coded. Like, I think in color coding. And so I post things that are all color-coded. You'll see when I do video lectures, uh, I use colors like crazy. This is this thing. And I, it, color to me is very helpful in organizing and conceptually handling stuff. So let me tell you what I've done here. This schedule should include every possible thing that is ever going to happen in this class week by week. The exception is module zero. None of this is going to open up to you and be available until you finish module zero. And that's that orientation one that I talked about in the, um, in the whatever, the welcome video. So every week starting with week one. There it is, week one. Look, you got your dates on there, so don't get confused. I threw the learning outcomes into this schedule, and I did that so that you would have an idea of what, what's the point. Like, what are we doing with the content in this um, section? And most of the time, there's one learning outcome. Like, it's, it's that straightforward. Like, this is the point of today's topic. Every week, when we have a content topic, you are going to watch a video lecture. And I would like you to look into my eyeballs. If you don't watch those video lectures, like you're basically skipping class. Okay. You could actually go and read the textbook if you would rather. If you feel like I, you don't want to watch the video lectures, you can read the textbook but you'll know that the textbook is not going to cover exactly the same content that I cover, and it's um, probably going to go deeper than what we do. Most cases, if you read the textbook and you, like, get it, you'll be golden. Like, there's nothing in the textbook that um, that is, you'll get plenty of information if you read the textbook. The video lectures tend to be a little more targeted and focused on the kinds of things that I'm actually wanting you to really master. However you do it, watch the video lecture. At least give them a shot. And then you're going to have a discussion every time. So, and look at this. I threw due dates into the discussions because I'm going to sort of model, model, it came out, I'm going to model um, like after what a face-to-face -face class would be like. I would never expect you to watch two video lectures a day. Like, no. You watch a video lecture and then you do something with that content. Now, I actually flip my face-to-face -face classes and use these video lectures. My students have to watch them before they come to class. So, so then during class time, during the face-to-face -face lecture, we're like talking about stuff and, and having a discussion about the content. So in thinking through like how can I um, replicate that in an online environment, I decided to do a discussion forum. And if you um, see the, the numbers behind these things, that means that they're actually in the modules numbered like that. So it's should be super organized and clean for you to move through the things that are required. The discussion, I called it a muddy fun discussion, and that's just because you can talk about things that are confusing, muddy concepts, or things that are really interesting and fun, fun concepts. And I would like there to be a significant amount of freedom for these discussions. Um, and I'm going to feel it out and see, you know, you will have them every video lecture, there will be a muddy fun discussion that goes with it. But 
we're going to see how they work out. We're going to see what the general um, consensus is about what's required in them because I'm not going to require, at least not at first. I'm going to say um, engage in meaningful conversation. Imagine it's like um, being in class. What kinds of things do you want to clarify? What kinds of things do you want to tell your classmates that you thought was cool? And you have to meaningfully participate. And then we'll just see how that goes. So your first Muddy Fun discussion is due on Thursday at midnight. Okay, Thursday at 11.59. And the due date is there to make sure that you get through module zero and you're ready to go because not only do you have a video lecture, but you also have lab work. And, and I've, the due dates are not flexible. Things will be open so you can totally get stuff done early if you want to work at a different, um, on a different schedule, but you're going to have to do work during the week. You can't save up all of your stuff for this class and do it all on the weekend. It's just too much, and the learning that you would do if you chose to approach it with that schedule is um, not going to be rich and deep enough to do well on my exams. So um, that's why I've set up the, the deadlines the way that I have. Okay, normally you'd have two of these things, one due on Tuesday, get through that first video lecture, and one due on Thursday, get through that second video lecture. And check it out, this week two, you'll have two video lectures and you'll have two discussions that go with those videos. Okay, every week you're going to have a lab activity. There is an entire um, lesson in module zero about how to set up your lab notebook because lab work requires you to do the, um, the activity, so you're going to do the lab, whatever it is, nicely. Our first lab is a case study, which means we're actually facilitating it in Canvas. Then you're going to have a lab group, and so you do the lab, whether it be the discussion, whether it be, um, you know, pouring, making cabbage juice indicators, awesome. Whatever it is that you have to do, you're going to carry out the lab then you're going to talk about it with your lab group in a discussion board. Again, meaningful um, participation in that. That's my goal. And then you um, are going to update your lab notebook, and I'm going to do a whole video walkthrough of the lab notebook process so that you know what to expect there. Um, that, your lab work, is all going to be due on Saturday. That gives you Friday and Saturday, like it gives you some weekend time. You can do your labs on the weekends, but you're going to want to work with your lab group to make sure that everybody's kind of on the same page because the discussion is an important part of the process. And in the interest of flexibility, I made them both the, the making sure you did the lab and making sure you talked about it with your group. I made them do on the same day, and I know that that is um, maybe not ideal, but I don't know. We'll see how that works, too. I may uh, want to change that up eventually. But if you're awesome and you do the lab work and you totally talk to each other about it and it's meaningful, then I'm, I don't care when it's due. So I'd like to not care when it's due. I'd like to not worry about scaffolding you and forcing you to have things done at certain times. I'd, I'd love to be able to say, talk to your group and get your lab notebook done by Saturday at midnight and you'll be golden. Okay, so that happens. That, do your lab, talk to your group, um, update your lab notebook. That all is going to happen every week. And then you're going to do a um, weekend check-in. And every week you're going to have what I call an external brain assignment, and I'll tell you what that is in just a second. You're also going to have a quiz in Canvas. The quiz is um, over all the content of the week. And it will open on Friday. I'm not going to give it, like, you can't take that quiz early. It's going to open on Friday, and it's going to close on Sunday night. The external brain assignment is also going to be due on Sunday night. So one of the things, the reason why I'm walking you through this is because, I don't know, I think it's um, the ninth activity in this intro module is to build a schedule. Like, where are you going to carve out the time to make these things happen? So you can start percolating on it now because um, 
Like I said, this isn't a weekend class. This isn't something you can do on the weekends or one day a week and get everything done. It's just you have to pace yourself and you have to have a schedule and a plan. When you have a face-to-face -face class, we make the schedule for you. Like we force you to think about the content on three days a week, two days, whatever. Here I'm forcing you to interact with the content more than just one day a week. Okay, external brain. Let's talk about that really fast. You actually are going to practice um, uploading a video like you would for your external brain assignment. So here's what your task is. Take a deep breath. The external brain is free points. You are going to take notes, right? I mean, in any class, if you're watching a video or whatever, you're going to take notes. If you don't take notes, you're crazy. Or maybe you're not crazy. Maybe you're busy. I totally get that. Okay, you're not crazy. You're busy and you're making choices, but it's a bad choice. Don't make that choice. Like you want to take notes because you're going to have to study and notes help you learn the material. So you're going to be doing this anyway. I'm going to give you points for collecting all of your content into a notebook. Now, I'm going to show you one. This is the external brain of um, one of my face-to-face -face students. I do the external brain in all my classes. And all you're doing is putting your notes in there. Like that, it's it. You can't see a thing. You can't see a thing. Oh, look, there you can kind of see something. Right on. It's just notes. Who cares? You can put in a three-ring notebook. You can put in a spiral notebook. You can, like, have pages, whatever. And then once a week before Sunday at midnight, you are going to make a video in Canvas. So you're going to need a webcam. And, dude, I am the perfect model of <laughs> you just do it. I mean, if I thought too much about these videos that I am creating and posting, like, I, it, it's horrifying. So I hear you. I feel your pain. And you're going to do it anyway. So you're just going to pull up your webcam one minute or less, you're going to come in and you're going to be like, hello, Wendy. I'm here to show you my external brain. Look, I put in this page and this page. Look, can you see my pages? And you're going to like set it up so that you can show me. And I took notes over here and I made a table and it was really helpful. Okay, bye now, Wendy. Bye-bye. And that's it. You're done. You just showed me your external brain. That's all I need. And you, it is a piece that, um, it's a chunk of your grade. So, and it's easy chunk. So just do it. All right. How do you feel? Oh, wait, I have to show you more. That, we get through four weeks with this first page. And I want to show you what is at the bottom that got kind of left off. Oh, yes. Whoa, that was exam two. Exam two, because there are two, three, four, five, five, <laughs> six, seven. No, there's five exams in this class, and they are all proctored, which means you have to either, and I'm read your syllabus to tell you all about the details for proctoring, but it means that you have to um, come to a College of the Redwoods campus or go to some other campus, or we have an option of uh, you can hook up a webcam and you can, like, sign into this website and they'll, like, watch you take the test in your house. And they'll, like, lock down your computer and, like, do all this stuff to make sure that you are um, not cheating on your exams. So basically, the fact that I'm taking the time to proctor these exams or make you proctor the exams just means that, dude, I want to make sure you're the one taking them, and I want to make sure that you're not cheating. Like, I want to know what's in your brain. And that's a big load. So think that through. Think about how, read through the proctoring scene and think about, like, how are you envisioning pulling this together? Because five proctored exams is a lot. And uh, that's what I do in my face-to-face -face classes. And so everything on a page is what is fair game on the proctored exam. I've got um, due dates on there, um, times, like you and I are going to have to hook up, like what's your proctoring plan, like holy fun adventures. And then you'll see on the schedule that really there is a page for all the content that goes into um, 
exam two. There's a page for all the content that goes into exam three and so on to exam four. And there is a final, and the final is comprehensive. The good news about the final exam, and I will just say it now so that you, because um, I said what, I'm not going to tell you about the syllabus. These are things you can read. Well, I am talking, and I'm going to keep talking. <laughs> so let me just tell you that the final exam, it is comprehensive, which means you got to remember the stuff that we talk about in the beginning. This class is awesome because it actually builds, like, the stuff that you learn in the beginning forms the foundation for the things you learn along the way. So really every single exam is comprehensive in a sense because you're, we're relying on the new knowledge that you gained to understand the, the next set of ideas. But the final covers all of it in detail, but if you score higher on your final than you do on any one of the midterms, I'll let you use that final exam score to replace the midterm score. So sometimes students um, get a little, a little overconfident. Like, dude, this lady's crazy. Like, her exams can't be that hard. But that's not true, and they are challenging, which is they should be. Like, that I want to know what you're learning. And you have to learn to do well in the class, which is the point, right? So um, you might want to use that final exam. Learn it eventually. There is redemption, which is a good thing. Okay, how are you? I can pretend like I heard you answer and tell me, like, we're great. This is awesome. We're super excited. Good. <laughs> okay, so uh, keep going. This was just a little first chunk for uh, reading through the syllabus and preparing your brain for what you're going to have to do every week. Um, and then let's get, make sure that you're good to go with all the other pieces. I'll be back to talk to you about the lab component or the lab notebook part of 